Hello to you and your homegirls. What's up, y'all? Hello, everybody. Good morning. Um, my hair is still in the twist. If you watched my last couple of videos, I was in some twists. Baby girl is bobbing. Um, this is why I don't do my hair because it's like I'm neglectful. I should have been took these out to be wearing a twist out, but I'm too lazy to do it. As you saw from the beginning, I pulled an Ulta box because I'm also gonna link my latest haul. We're gonna be using mostly new products that I just picked up. I was deciding on a primer here. I'm gonna use my Freck Beauty Rich Bitch. I really enjoy this in this cold weather because this is the most hydrating primer I've ever used. It's so hydrating, it's so moisturizing. Um, if you have really, really, really dry skin, I highly recommend this. this will keep you hydrated and moisturized all day long. If your face dries out, you end up getting dry patches. This is this is something that I think will um, alleviate all of that. You do, however, have to let your skincare dry down onto your skin before you mix it up or it'll pill. All right, so I pulled from the box um, this e.l.f., the Halo, I'll put it up on the screen, y'all know me. I don't do my voiceovers at my vanity, so I don't know what the stuff is called. I'll put it up on the screen. Y'all know what this is. This has been so popular. Um, they just came out with this new shade. It's um, 8.5 rich, and I'm intending to use it as a bronzer. Now, I mentioned in my last haul that currently Elf is my favorite makeup brand, and I'm gonna stand beside that. This is 14 bucks. This component is is giving lux glass bottle. This doe foot is super comfortable. I mentioned in my haul that I'm I'm really into the idea of base products outside of concealer having a doe foot, and this was just a pleasure to use. It feels great. This spoiler alert, immediately yes. To blend, I'm gonna use this Morphe, I believe it's L100. It comes in this purple set, this purple Morphe set. It's at Ulta. Um, girl, look at the glow. It's so pretty. Um, if you've been watching me, you've seen that I recently purchased the Juvia's um, cream bronzer, which I think is absolutely stunning. But I bought it because I thought it was gonna be like this. I thought it was gonna be like, glowy um or sparkly i like glitter you're gonna see as this video continues <laughs> um this is giving exactly what i wanted it to give it's so pretty really really pretty i like i usually don't do much on my nose but this is also from that morphe set um and i'm gonna you know blend out the nose contour it's like the perfect i love pigmentation like this like a soft um what would you call it light coverage low pigment type of vibe like this where it's not too much it's not too makeup -y. very very pretty <laughs> all right back down into the box i'm gonna pull out this winky Lux white tea tinted moisturizer it has an SPF 30, and my shade that I picked up is called Deep Plus Tint. And I'm going to apply that for the base. In the haul, I mentioned that I am my winter color, and this is a great color. This is what the component looks like. How cute is that? Again, I'm going to link my last haul. I had a lot of opinions about this. This stuff, um, this is a hodgepodge of Target and Ulta. That's one of my favorite base brushes. I'm going to pump a pump and a half onto this um, flat top brush and get it all over the face. All right. It looks a little crazy, but this ends up being an awesome shade. I usually don't pump product into my brush and put it on my face. I don't know what I was thinking, but this color is perfect. Everything else that I've been pulling, it looks a little weird. Y'all know me, I'm a blend. Um, everything else that I've been pulling from my collection is just giving makeup. It's giving like not my right shade. So I definitely had to get something a little cooler, a little paler. Um, 
and this is perfect i really like this it's definitely light coverage which i like i like during the day um and i'm into it it's really really cute it smells good <laughs> Um, which I like. I know a lot of people don't like fragrance. Even though I have sensitive skin, I do enjoy um, a light fragrance. And I've noticed that my skin really enjoys tea as an ingredient. Um, I like Ines Free's green tea cleanser. I like a tea in, in my skincare or makeup. I'm going to add a little bit more. Um, I was a little perturbed by what it looked like. I mentioned that in the haul too that I don't it looks like it's separated when it pumps out and that's why I like shake it vigorously but I mean it still comes out looking like that this was on clearance for 14 bucks I don't know if maybe it's old um, it's regular price 28 I enjoy this you know this is first impressions am I gonna repurchase for $28 no I'm not but I like this it's nice a bit more to the center of my face and I'm gonna blendy blend. I really liked how this turned out. I need to try it with different primers. For concealer, I'm using Juvia's Place. Mine is in the color 12. I'm gonna use it for highlighting and then I'm gonna pull out the Pat McGrath just for a little blend. I don't know why I was looking like that, girl. Um, I'm blending with a mixture of different things. This green one is a little Real Techniques brush, and then I'm pull out the brush that I use for my base. Um, and then this is also from that purple Morphe set. And then my Playing and Makeup by Londo. I use so many brushes, y'all. This is why I'm always complaining about my brushes being dirty. For a blush, I'm gonna use this Essence um, Baby Got Blush. Mine is in the color Tickle Me Pink. And I'm going to apply that with a brush, the same brush that I applied my base with. I really like the way this makeup turns out. I had to redeem myself because I had a bad makeup day yesterday. So I really needed to like sit down and do my makeup. I'm not good at like 10 minute makeup. Like I have to sit here and I have to blend for 45 minutes. I don't know how people do makeup make quick makeup look good if that's the case i just need to wear no makeup <laughs> it's another reason i needed to pick up a winter shade because i was feeling like i looked better before putting on my makeup so <laughs> i really like this blush um it's not too pigmented but it's cute it's sweet i like it I also want to say that I'm a one short of 50 subscribers, which is so freaking exciting. Hello to all my new subbies. Hi, girls. Hi, guys. I'm so happy you're here. I'm so grateful. I cannot say it enough. I'm going to set the face with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. Mine is in the color golden. And um, I guess this is what project panning is. I randomly hit pan. I didn't expect to hit pan because I don't even care for this stuff that much. But now that I've hit pan, I'm determined to completely finish it. So that's what I'm going to set my face with. And while I do that, again, thank you so much for subbing to me. If you have, please feel free to comment anything you think I can improve on. I know I do long videos. Let me know if you think that there's anything you think I should cut out. I'm so open to getting better. I'm just posting these so that I get comfortable um, in front of the camera. And I already mentioned that I don't talk while I do my makeup because I would not be able to do my makeup and talk at the same time. I also am an NYC resident. There's also crazy stuff happening in my background at all times. So again, thank you so much for being here. I am so grateful. If you're watching and you are not subscribed, please subscribe to me. I have a goal of 100 and to be one short of 50 is so dope. Halfway there, I'm so excited. <laughs> all right, I'm going to get all set or whatever. And then to set the bronzer, bronzer in quotes, <laughs> I'm pulling out the Say Air Set 
if you've been watching me do my makeup recently i've been trying to like use this up because i don't like it um and i've been using it to like set my bronzer instead of using a powder bronzer i simply don't like it because one i picked the wrong shade it's too dark for me um and it's nothing special it's overpriced and i can't recommend it to anyone if you're using anything by say and you enjoy it please let me know um I'm, I'm drawn to minimalistic um clean brands like say i love their packaging i love the minimalism i think it's really cute i love clean beauty i have a bit of a clean aesthetic um i just this being my first product i'm a little bit turned off but if there's anything you think that i should try that is worth the money let me know but i think i've heard that everyone that's tried it doesn't really like it so <laughs> my skin is not doing the best i'm sure you can see a couple of my pimples because i've been neglecting my nighttime routine there is this um juvia's the blush rose palette again i'm going to use it for blush i am going to go into the baby pink just to set um the little essence blush that i put down but how are you guys feeling about the base i like it i definitely want to try out other primers but I think it looks good. Um, I think Power Grip might work very well with it because this this rich bitch is, is very, very rich. Um, and I think a, a better gripping primer, something to really have it being in place might bode well. But I like it. It looks good. <laughs> Again, like my summer shades were kind of just throwing me for a loop. All right, I sped up the brows here. I'm gonna be using my beloved um, Makeup Revolution. I forget what this is called. Precise Brow, something like that. This is my favorite one in medium brown. My eyebrows are in terrible shape. I keep saying this. Maybe I'll do that tonight. I need to do my eyebrows and I need to do my nails. Oh, it is Aquarius season, so I need to act like it. And you're probably gonna see that. I definitely, you know, act out when my season is here. I'm cleaning up the brows with the same Juvia's Place concealer that I use, and I'm going to set my eyes for eyeshadow with this Playing in Makeup by Yolando eyeshadow base. Mine is in the color H. I'm trying to use this base up. I don't really care for it. Um, I love the white one so much. This one just doesn't perform as well as that one. I'm going to set the base with my Huda Glowish Powder. And palette of the day is my Viseur Petite 4 Violetta. This is such a cutie, cutie, cutie. And you know what's funny? I'm going to link my Black Friday haul. I bought these palettes to say it with my chest to tell black girls not to buy Viseur. But I love the two palettes that I bought. They're so pretty. They're so good. They're so easy to use. This Violetta palette is such a good winter edit. It's such a pretty winter color story. I'm pulling out my Beauty Bay brush roll again. Y'all know when I pull this out, my brushes are dirty. It kind of makes me sick how quickly my brushes get dirty. But this is the color story. It's so good. That shimmer is just out of pocket. It's so pretty. It's so unexpected because Viseart shimmers are really boring. I just find Viseart boring as a whole. But this little quad is a sleeper. It's so cute. It's this really like low-key vampy color story. It's popping. It's very lit. I'm starting with the fluffy blender and I'm going to take the shade called Chatelet. How pretty is that? It looks like it matches my top, but it just goes on very neutral and deep and smoky. I love this palette. It's so good. My issue usually with Viseart is that it doesn't go deep enough, but this this little quad is very deep. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. I'm just gonna put that in the crease. I'm gonna wing it up and blend it, get it in my outer corner. I'm gonna do that for both eyes. We're getting into some Valentine's Day vibes. 
This is very much so like an anti-Valentine's Day vibe. Very deep, smoky. Look at how effortlessly this blends. It's crazy. I got my depth. And it blends like butter. Next, I'm going to take a fluffy shader for my lid. And... I'm going to pick up this pink shade. It's called Cooperin. Look at how it glitters. I love glitter mattes. I love glitter. You guys know that. If you've been kicking it with me for a minute, you know I like glitter. Um, this shade is so pretty. It has these gold glitters in it, and that's going to be my lid shade. I'm going to use all four shades in this quad. I love this quad. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get that applied to both lids. Viseart is very low-key. It's kind of like no makeup makeup. This this wouldn't be what I choose to wear on a date or something, but for work, it's cool. I'm going to take a flat liner brush, and I'm going to go into this shade. It's called Perchoa. It's a very deep gray-black shimmer. This is my favorite shade to do a smoky eye with. It's so pretty and I'm gonna do liner with it. I have so many videos to put in the cards, but I will put me doing a smoky eye with this shade along with my Blend Bunny Forget Me Not palette. I'm switching brushes to this angled liner brush. I'm gonna clean it off because all my brushes are dirty. That's a Morphe, I think it's called Quick Switch. It came in one of my Morphe sets. I'm gonna clean that off and I'm gonna just blend the liner shade in a little bit i'm just diffusing the liner here getting it into the crease and then i'm going to move on i'm going to take this pointy brush and i'm going to go into the special shade it's called Viari. i'm also going to put in the cards me labeling the back of these viseart shadows because um the names are on the unicards and i threw the unicards away my favorite thing about viseart is these components and that um the shades are magnetic and you can move them around all over the place um yeah i think that's dope this shade is very special um it's like kind of like multi chromey it goes blue pink purple it's so pretty i'm gonna put that in both inner corners just as a base because i'm gonna pull some glitter out girl Get ready for the glitter. <laughs> All right, I'm pulling out my Car Beauty. This is the Electric Disco. This is a palette full of pressed glitters. <laughs> it's Aquarius season. Let me be the ridiculous rebel that I am. And let me enjoy my glitters. There's a color story. I'm starting with this pink. It's called Twinkle Toes. And I'm gonna overlay the Viseart Shimmer in my inner corner with that. I love a glitter in my inner corner, so that's what I'm doing. And I love little touches like this. This is the things that make a look feel like it's mine. I'm then gonna go into this chunky glitter. It's called Club Queen and it has like chunks of stars and like circles. So I'm taking my tweezers and I'm pulling out one star for each eye and I'm just putting it um, in the lash line just for a little detail. Again, these are things that people won't even notice. I don't do my makeup for other people. I do my makeup to express myself to be creative in my own way and to enjoy myself, to make myself my own Barbie. <laughs> Once I have the baby stars applied, I'm gonna take the same liner brush that I use for the dark liner shade and I'm gonna go into this black glitter, it's called Eclipse, and I'm just gonna overlay that area with some black glitter. Again, it's nothing showy or special, it's just for me. Once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna highlight. This is the XX Rock Revolution X Power Puff Girls. This is the Mojo Jojo Highlighter Palette. This is what it looks like. It has like a peach gold, a pinky, and a gold. It's a pretty good um, highlighter palette. It's very low key, but it gets the job done. I also love Power Puff Girls and I love Mojo Jojo. <laughs> so I love this palette. 
I'm gonna highlight my face with the gold shade and this is a Zoeva highlighting brush. Yeah, we love highlights. I love highlighting. Y'all know I don't do makeup without highlighting my face. Once I get that all blended in, I'm going to take this um, flat brush. I'm going to go into the peachy, pinky highlight, and I'm going to put that as a brow bone highlight. Now, I probably should have used the pink. This, I kind of messed it up. This was kind of getting on my nerves all day long. Yeah, bad call. But we move. Pink would look so much better. I was watching Nikki LaRoe and she was like, she has a prediction that brow bone highlight is going to come back. Girl, I never stopped highlighting my brow bone. I love putting a shimmer in my brows. Always have, always will. I'm setting the brow. This is the Essence Fix It Like a Boss Transparent Fixing Gel. I really like this stuff. It does hold my brows in place. How do you guys feel about this look? Do you hate my glitter? <laughs> I like it a lot and it's definitely giving me. I prefer blending two shades into the crease, so this eye look is a little lacking dimension for me, but it'll do. I did use the quad, and that feels good to use every shade in the quad. I'm gonna pull out mascara. This is the Maybelline Last Sensational. This is really, really nice. This is a good mascara. If you're in the market for an affordable drugstore mascara, this is a good one. My eyes water like crazy. I always have to catch tears that are coming out of my eyes. Yeah, this mascara is great. I was thinking about um, cracking open my Maybelline Lash Stiletto, which is my favorite mascara of all time. But I was like, let me just use this Lash Sensational. And it gives every single time. It's called the blackest black and it really is very dark and makes your lashes pop. I'm gonna crack into this lip palette. Um, I showed it in one of my hauls, not the most recent one, the one before. And this is my first time actually using it. It's a lip palette by NYX, it's called The Plums and it has various shades of plums. And we're gonna be using this for the lips. Y'all know I usually just wear a lip gloss, but I wanted to actually put a lip on. My last video that I did, I'm gonna, isn't that cute? <laughs> My last video that I did, I had this cute blue eye and like no lip, and I can't be doing that. So I'm gonna put on a lip so that I can get some cute pictures. This is the BH Flat Definer Brush. I'm gonna go into the deepest shade in here and have that be my liner. Lips isn't a very annoying part of makeup to me because one thing about me, I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna drink. So it's like I do all this and I'm gonna eat it and drink it away. So it, it bothers me. I know a lot of people that just don't do lips at all. I'm that person sometimes. <laughs> but I have too much lip product not to do lips. I'm gonna take the shade next to that deeper shade. It's giving like a very deep, dark, vampy mauve. And that's what I'm gonna just put in the center of the lip. Just an easy lip. This is nice, I like this palette, it's fun. And that's kind of what I need because lips are boring. So this was fun to use. I'm sure I will be using this more in the future. The formula is really creamy and comfortable. No complaints at all. All right, this is the lip. Underwhelming, yes. <laughs> I am gonna add a little bit of gloss to the center. This is the ColourPop Lux Gloss. This is from a Bambi collection. This shade is Bambi, and I'm just adding it to the center. I hated this gloss when I first got it, I thought it felt so disgusting, but it is extremely long lasting. So I'll give it that. Y'all know I always have something left to say about ColourPop. <laughs> All right, very happy with the look thus far. This is pretty much final look. I am gonna share fragrance of the day today. 
this is Fleur's missing person. It's so nice. It's very warm and not very understated. I describe it as like a hug from your babes. Like it's just very warm and inviting and loving. This would be a really good base layer for something else. I'm very picky with fragrance. I actually will wear a fragrance and then a couple hours later get so tired of smelling it. So this is really nice and understated and I really enjoy it. All right, this is final look. This is a little, I don't know, a little daytime soft glam, I guess. I don't know, this, this is a very me type of look. Very low key, but with some little, some little details you gotta be up on me to see what's going on and nobody should be up on me so <laughs> happy aquarius season due to the fact i'll give you a little a little a little a little something 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 thank you so much for joining me i will see you soon love you bye